1200 meters gate four purple operator and away they go who's that star probably slow about a half a length and bristol bow fighters dropped out to anchor Escavel on the right hand side came out blazing right there in the early stages purple operator edward longshanks the red headgear who's that stars overdoing it slightly towards the inside the yellow headgear there's a line of three of them because around them is general hancock and bristol bow fight to the orange cap between them there's only four lengths in it Escavel the leader by three parts of a length edward longshanks corners in second purple operator the white cap who's that star towards the inside bristol Bow fighter and General Hancock. Escabel gives a beautiful kick coming to the 300 meter marker. And it's Escabel who's gone two lengths clear. Purple operators trying to warm up. Who's that star on the inside? Escabel inside the 200, still has two lengths to spare. Purple operator, who's that star on the inside? Escabel is now looking for the line, the last hundred. And Escabel's going to go all the way. Purple operator second, then Bristol Bow fighter. Fighter. Who's that star? General Hancock and Edward Longshanks ran last. Bouncing out the machine, SQL. The path for Clinton Binder. Medimas, Armitages, Dreamstar Racing, Dylan Binder. Esquivel by a length and a quarter just kept plugging away. Gave a beautiful kick at the 300 and in the last 100 was just waiting to see if he was going to come up for oxygen, which he just kept galloping resolutely down to the post. Victory number two goes all the way with Warren Kennedy pumping away. Purple operator, who's that star? As for Edward Longshanks, he was given the proper warm-up from Muzi Yeni and just failed to fire down the lane. He goes out the back door and in behind those General Hancock, but it's all about Escavel. Back to the studio. Race number five has been won by number seven, Esquivel, trained up by Clinton Binder and ridden to victory by Warren Kennedy. And well done to all of those concerned with Esquivel. Well done to his groom, Watson, who receives a winning check on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Sucker. Well done, Watson. Yours looked well and he's produced the goods for you. So excellent job. Well done, my man. Excellent stuff. Keep up the good work. Let's get uh, Warren Kennedy in. Now you've partnered this horse for the very first time. What type of feel did he give you, Warren? Yeah, he, he gave me a feel of, of quite a nice horse in the making. You know, he's a bit immature still. The blinkers obviously helped him today. Um, saying that I think he would have won without the blinkers, but they definitely sharpened him up. Uh, he came out really nicely, cruising in front. But a funny horse I spoke to Mr. Bind about him. You know, he's, his first instinct to go against you when you want him to quicken, he looks to pick his head up at you. But um, just nursed him along and just guided him through the race. A lot of experience helps with that, you know. Those type of horses, you, you know what to do with them um, in that instance. And he responded quite nicely. He was found once in the last bit, but he, he did travel a little bit hard with me. Um, he's got a very high cruising speed where he's comfortable, but um, Mr. Binder did say he thought maybe a 1,000 would have been the best trip, but uh, the 12 ones come up, and thank goodness they come up because the horses won. Um, but definitely the horse is going to improve a bit more. You know, As he learns what you want from him, and he, he's not going to get hurt in a race, um, he'll, learn, he'll improve and he'll get a bit more confidence and you'll see a bit more of him. Well, you mentioned a lot of positives for the owners as well, and uh, they could look forward to a decent horse on their hands, a horse that could win a few more races for them. Yeah, I think he can. You know, he, this race is obviously going to bring him on confidence-wise. Um, he didn't get a very punishing ride, so it'll bring him on. And the blinkers first time, so he'll, he'll only learn from this experience, and he'll obviously a better horse coming another two, three runs. But he's still got a little way to go to, to find his real feet of, of um, his um, confidence where, where you want him to be, but he'll get there eventually, and he, he's obviously improving still, so a bit of fun with him will be had. Well done, Warren. Thanks. Just big thanks to Mr. Binder as well. Thank you. Excellent stuff. Warren Kennedy, your winning jockey. Well done, Clinton. A nice win from this horse. You had two horses in the race. Who's that star and Esquivel? I thought who's that star was possibly the better one on the day, but uh, uh, Esquivel, blinkers on, gone to the front, and that's where he stayed. Yeah, look, I had a choice of the two, the two races, and in the other race, there was Hampton Court and um, Life Goes On. So uh, that's why I, I, I chose this race for him, because I thought he'd have more pace. Who's that star just over raced in that race? You know, he was nearly clipping heels with the horse in front of him, pulled up a little bit distressed. 
But going back to this horse, I've been pulling my hair out of this horse. You know, he won first time out, and I've been expecting good things out of him. I used to train his mother, was stone mad, but, um, <laughs> you know, um, look, he's a decent animal, but very disappointed. I was very disappointed with his uh, last week. I actually thought he'd win last week. But um, he came into the straight and didn't give a kick today, a different story. So thank you to Warren, he rode a very good race. Nice win from this individual, bit of confidence on his side and uh, he could win a few more for the connections. Warren mentioned a few positives, the more he learns about racing, he'll be a better horse certainly in the future. Look, as, as I said, his mother is, uh, is a very finicky animal. Yeah, I won with her first time out, but before that she came out like a mile and out the, the pens the first, day we threw, the first time she ran. And he, he's got similar traits. You can see last week when they, one shoe came off, I went and told them take the other one off, they won't get it on. So he's a very finicky animal. Warren just said you, you, you've got a kid to him. You can't ask him the question because then he just get, he, he, he'll, he'll fight you, you know what I mean? But I've always thought he's a horse that can go on and win quite a few races, and I've been disappointed as it went up to now. Anyway, let's, next race, let's see what we can do. Well, two more runners. Life goes on. Umtomo Walwazi. What do you expect from Umtomo Walwazi, Alter Maidens? Well, first run out of the Maidens is always difficult, especially against older campaigners. Um, I would be happy if he can run a place, especially running on. We're not going to go to the front of them because I think we've got in that race, life goes on, that goes handy. Plus Hampton Court, I would, I would be happy sitting about three lengths off and actually see if the horse can run on. You know, if he can win it, he must win it. But um, I, I just think it's a bit tough. The only reason we ran them is because they were really in Durban and they, they needed extra horses, so I put them back in. And I said, run if split. I didn't want to run all the horses together. But they, they've been here since last week, and the only reason they're running is because they were here already. But um, I'm hoping Tomo Wawazi would do well. You know, always you, 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 you want Hollywood's horses to beat you, not you beat Hollywood's oh, horses. But um, thank you to Hollywood for their support and their sponsorship. Well done, Clinton. All the best in the next. Thank you. Clinton, Binder, Warren Kennedy teaming up with number seven, Esquivel. Well done to all of the owners concerned. And as Warren uh, mentioned, Esquivel could be a nice horse that uh, for the owners to have on their hands here. Certainly a horse that will win his fair share of races.